Juan and Sharon, the evacuation order for Calabasas is still in place, so a lot of people can't get up here, but we are here, and I want to show you. This is one of the hardest hit neighborhoods in Calabasas. This is Parkmore. There's about 10 homes on this street alone that have been destroyed by that fire. I want to take a walk through the neighborhood so you can see just what we're talking about here. You have that home that's a total loss right next to it. Another home completely decimated by the fire. People who stayed tell me this fire just came through here like a freight train on Friday. It was farther away in the hillside. People thought they were okay and then within minutes it was right on top of them and we'll walk up more uh, so we've got one two here's a third house that was destroyed uh, a lot of people frustrated right now we talk to people down where they have the roadblocks and they're not letting folks in wondering why they can't come back in now obviously there are people a lot of people who have homes that are still standing but at this point the city says it's just not safe they still have fire crews in here they still have first responders in here they want to make sure that it's safe before people can come back in and I I want to walk around. You can see, look at this. Here's someone's truck that they obviously had parked facing out so they could get out of here and evacuate. And obviously, there was no time. So that car completely burned. And up here, we talked to one gentleman whose house did survive this fire. He was on his roof, watering it down Friday afternoon. He thought everything was fine. He thought that he could stay here and be safe. And he says, in a matter of minutes, really a matter of seconds, the fire had jumped from one side of the street where it wiped out these four or five homes here to his side of the street going up his tree here. We just talked to him a few minutes ago and he recounted what it was like during those harrowing moments. Long story short, um, we, we did take off. Um, the fire uh, had, been, had been coming down off the canyon here and it, it switched directions on us and came right through the canyon and the flame wall jumped over and hit my tree and melted my mailbox and caught my hill on fire and my lawn and I jumped off the roof and I about a 30 second window to get out. I was screaming at my wife, we gotta go. I sent my, my boys out about an hour earlier. And this street again, now we've hopped onto the other side. You can see all of these homes destroyed by the fire. So a lot of loss that these folks who live in this community right here on Parkmore, that they're gonna come home to when they come back in and those evacuation orders are lifted. Back to you. you know, I understand.